Micro loans are small loans given with little to no interest to small enterprises in developing countries. They are used to spur economic growth and vitality in the world's poorest countries as well as promote small businesses in the United States. The principles I will be covering in this video are that people respond to incentives, trade can make everyone better off, markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity, government can sometimes improve market outcomes, and the idea of opportunity cost. Principle number four, people respond to incentives. When people are given a loan in order to start small business, especially in developing countries, they will respond by starting their business, thereby creating a livelihood for themselves and providing goods and services to the people of their community. Kiva.org is an organization that allows people to donate money so that it can be redistributed to small business loan seekers in developing countries. According to the article by Jeffrey O'Brien, a senior editor for the Fortune magazine, this nonprofit is incredibly successful. The organization is even initiating steps to expand the program domestically in order to aid our country's poor. The loan provides an incentive to start a business and create revenue in a developing market, and in Kiva.org's case, people are responding in very high numbers. Principle number five, trade can make everyone better off. Although it may seem somewhat unrelated to microloans, it is actually the reason for them. When people are unable to trade, it is because they have no capital, no means of trading. In essence, microloans enable the client to have resources available in order to trade and can therefore create more opportunities for trade to be initiated. Principle number six, markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. Here I would like to focus on what are called seed loans. These are smaller loans that are intended for newly emerging businesses, not necessarily individual clients. According to Richard Adhikari in his article for the e-commerce times, there is a growing market for microloans or seed loans, especially in the media technology industries. More and more venture capitalists are putting up great deals of money in order to redistribute loans of around $5,000. These will enable the entrepreneurs to pursue an economically beneficial business path. Principle number seven, governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. In the market for water utilities, government-sponsored microfinance will enable the water companies to better distribute clean water and help the market become more stable. According to William Eagle's article for the VOA News, some countries are experimenting with solidarity financing which taxes from wealthier communities are used to improve water purification and sanitation in poorer areas. Burkina Faso uses a levy on water charges so that the poor can be provided with clean water and sanitation as well as the wealth. Opportunity cost is a big issue in terms of microloans because from an economic standpoint, investing in microfinance does not bring about great profit, which makes the opportunity cost high. The investors are giving up funds that they could be administering to much more stable businesses. However, this is sort of a social investment. According to Eric Olfelder in his article for Business Week, Microloans, Solid Returns, says in response to critics that these loans promote independence, whereas simply giving money would only perpetuate the dependence that these underdeveloped countries have on foreign aid. So yes, the opportunity cost is high, but in the long run, these developing countries will be able to support themselves and contribute to the world economy. Microloans and microfinance are great tools for developing countries and new businesses to get started and make living for themselves. The principles applied to microeconomics in this video are people respond to incentives, trade can make everyone better off, markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity, governments can sometimes improve market outcomes, and the idea...